I'm Phil Howard and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. Every now and then you put something in your mouth and you just think, fuck me, that's, that's delicious. You know, it stops you in your tracks. I came to see that, generally speaking, there were never complicated things. And certainly the move to Ellison Street has really enabled me to kind of loosen up and lighten up and just cook exactly what I want without having to give any consideration really to the visual side of the food. As a chef, I've come to acknowledge that the things that I just enjoy most are simple things done really well. And pasta's capacity to deliver pleasure is pretty much unrivaled. My name is Phil Howard and I'm cooking today a, a really great pasta dish, super simple, very accessible, spaghetti with, with anchovies, capers, garlic, chili, parsley and olive oil. This dish is all about the dressing. That's just full of big, bold flavors, but they've, they've got to knit together in a, in, a, in, a, in a balanced way. We're gonna sweat red onion in olive oil. So we're just gonna slice, slice the onions. Everything else is gonna be small, but I, I, it's nice to have the onions sliced so that it kind of gets tangled a bit with the, with the pasta when it's cooked. Garlic, we want a microplane, or you know, s smash it and chop it, doesn't really matter what, but what you don't want is big bits of garlic. Releasing aroma and flavor comes down to creating surface area for that flavor to kind of come from. And so, you know, a microplane just does a great job and it's quick and it's simple. We then got some anchovies. They don't need to be, you know, super, super quali quality premium anchovies, but they want to be decent quality anchovies so that they've got a, a, a pleasant flavor because there's going to be a lot of it. And then chilies, just a just bog standard chili, um, sliced. It doesn't want to be mind-blowingly hot, but these chilies just aren't ever mind-blowingly hot. This is a, 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 you know, a vinaigrette that packs a punch and it needs to have some heat. Olive oil in the pan, let it get warm. And then we're going to add the onions. As always, we want to get some salt in there. What we want to do is get the flavour out of those onions and, and, and into, the, into the dressing, not trapped in the onions. So the salt goes in. The garlic can go in at the beginning. So we're just going to cook that for three or four minutes until it's, until it's nicely softened. So a few minutes down the line, we're then going to add the chilies. The chilies just want to get briefly cooked. Um, just so they can uh, let the flavour flow. They almost just need to get hot for a minute or two just so they can work their magic. We then need to take it off the heat and pretty much immediately just add the anchovies because they really want to almost just melt into that. It just releases those flavours, softens it so they, they, and they will just break down. And then we're going to add capers. Stir those in. We're then going to add the zest of an orange. That's a huge orange, so I might not quite add all of it. I would say add great zest, either over the top of the finished dish um, or into it towards the end. Probably on 25% of all, I don't know, all the dishes that I, that I cook. It just adds another layer of flavor to it. And then just going to take the juice of half an orange. It, the flavors will impart very quickly into something that's water-based. They just, they, they, they just leach their flavors out, particularly when they're, 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 they're hot. Oil's far harder to, to, to get flavor into an oil. You try and make a garlic, you try and make any oil, it's, a really, it's, it's much harder. They, never, they will never take the flavor there. And so it's important in this to have a little bit of, a, of, of an aqueous component, a water-based component, to, to, for all those flavors to leach into, and it then carries it through the pasta. And then this is just a bit of Chardonnay vinegar, which is a white wine vinegar. And then the last thing we're gonna add, just a good big pinch of, of parsley. You want a generous amount of parsley, stir that in. You need a generous amount of olive oil for the cooking process, but then you want to add at the end another generous amount of olive oil to finish so that that, that olive oil is raw. And then what actually just needs to happen, it just needs to sit and hang out for an hour just to let the flavors do their thing. It's an amazing dressing because it is hot and fruity and sour and deeply savory because of the anchovies and for, with a tangle of spaghetti, that's magic. So we've got the dressing. Um, I've got a lovely uh, a, a, a portion of uh, fresh, uh, fresh spaghetti there. And then the final piece of the jigsaw is actually pasta water, which is a really important part of bringing the, of liaising, of linking the two, of the, the pasta and the sauce together. So what, what we do at Otto is we freeze it in these biodegradable bags as it acts as the cool pack. So it's kind of a double, a double whammy. What we're gonna do here is put the pasta water into a, into a pan. 
This obviously is frozen because it would have been a cool pack. We melt that. In, in any vinaigrette, any dressing, it's really important to acknowledge that there's an oily component, there's a bitty component, there's a juicy component, that orange juice that's in there. Give it a good stir before you take it out so that you've got a mix of everything. It's so important. And at this stage, we're not trying to boil it to death or reduce it or change it. We're just trying to let the two things just be there together, ready for when the, for when the pasta comes out. So we want to make sure that everything is ready before we drop the pasta. Once the pasta is committed, the clock is ticking. Pasta in. With this spaghetti and any pasta, you know, 80% of the cooking happens in the water, but the rest happens in, in the sauce. The two things integrate and become, become one. So we're going to lift that into the, into the sauce and then you stir it around. It's effectively going to absorb that pasta water and leave behind it the, the, the dressing. And this ends up being this wonderful, slippery mass of incredibly flavorful spaghetti. That is it. That smells absolutely magic. So there it is. Spaghetti with anchovies, garlic, chilies, parsley, capers and olive oil.